Welcome to Riverbend Talent on WBGZ. Brought to you by the Halpin Music Company. And brought to you by Mr. Matt Van Voorst of Macias Insurance. Oh, Come yeah. On. My mic is on. Are you listening? I am listening, and I am uh, happy to also be pen. here on a Thursday night at 6 o'clock. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. It's a little late. Yeah. What happened? Ah, oh, there was a game. That's right. I, I, I can't you, remember. I've been pre-gaming the whole time, though, so I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> You're used to being a little late, sometimes not even showing up. So, <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I honestly, I was talking to Lauren about that because uh, Lauren, who was just running the board for the game, set in on the week that i was in memphis and forgot to tell you i wasn't going to be here actually i was supposed to be here i think i was supposed to be back i was on my way back from new orleans and i got sideswiped by memphis and you know it happens there was a lot, a lot of, to you <laughs> apparently <laughs> there was <laughs> that's why it took me 10 years to get a two-year college degree well we're 20 every minutes time, <laughs> every time someone would say hey the dead's playing in memphis it's like well i guess i'm not in college anymore <laughs> We're 20 minutes into the sea shanty sing-along down at Morrison's Irish Pub already. There you go. So yeah. if you feel like doing it, there's still plenty of time to drink some Irish whiskey and sing along with the uh, sea shanties, which if you haven't done it, you know, it's going to be a good time just getting drunk and singing. How could that not be good? Speaking of festivals, we're going to talk about one of those tonight. Yeah. We've got... Already? Uh, uh, we, we, <laughs> we, yeah. It's, it's festival season. That's Marshall why. Marshall and Gracias <laughs> always kicks off the festival season in January. And, and okay. normally, for the past few years... It has been the Happy Trails Festival. However, this summer he had Happy Trails in the middle of the summer, moved it out to the VFW for an outdoor festival. So now he's going to have one called Jammin' at the Springs. It's going to be at the Mineral Springs Mall, and that is happening on January 15th, a few weeks from now. So we're going to talk to Marshall about that. We've also got Josh from Spilly Nelson. because What's up, y'all? Spilly is going nice. to be uh, not only playing the uh, the event, but also handling the sound. Yeah, so, they're going to give so. us a whack at some engineering. So Yeah. And, and we're also going to I'm talk to you so you do a good job of now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk to Josh about his pink bass. We'll oh. get to that in a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> She's a stag. As soon, as soon as we go through this list, uh, it's salmon colored. Right, right, right. Rose, Mauve. rose. It's right? <laughs> my birthstone. Rose. That looks like leftover salmon. <laughs> I was like, Mom, I don't smell wanna... like leftover salmon. <laughs> Uh, uh, so let, let's get down to uh, the Thursday night stuff has already kicked off at 6 p.m. So let's do our Thursday night right. uh, gigs, and then we'll come back and talk to these uh, fine gentlemen. Right on. All right, Borderline, 7 to 10 at Fast Eddie's. The open mic tonight at 9 at Raging Cajun in Alton. Uh, open mic already underway uh, at Baker's and Hale and Godfrey with Everhart and Light. Started at 5. Grand Pagano doing George's local brew in Jerseyville from 7 to 10. Comedian Buzz Sutherland and Johnny Con. Kavanaugh, 7.30 at the Wild E Theater in Edwardsville. The Skylark Brothers, 6 to 9, right down the road at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville. Cherry Duncan, 6 o'clock at the Cabin at Judy Creek. And Mo Pleasure at Patrick's in Granite City. Uh, your old stomping grounds, Marshall and Gracia. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but you well, moved Cherry here Duncan. to... Uh, There's quite a uh, quite yeah, a bit happening down there now. There's and, uh, uh, several venues hat popping down there in Granite City, and... Uh, actually, I had a conversation with my, Mike Parkinson's, the mayor of Granite City. He's looking to build the uh, the arts and entertainment district down there. Oh, that'd be really neat. They've been kind of working on it down there, yeah. downtown, kind of over the Vodok uh, area. Down, you know, yeah. they call it West Granite, I guess. Right. You know, and they've been doing the melting pots and all that stuff in that little park and. Mm -hmm. The YMCA, I think they finally removed all that asbestos out of the YMCA, and I think they're trying to figure out what they're going to do with that, which that would be a cool yeah. place. You yeah. know what I mean? There's, there's Al Fresco is doing a lot of that Fresco, stuff you're yep. talking about. Yep. And I was down at the art Center and checked out Bonnie Bramlett uh, over the holidays. Yeah. So that was I'm that's jealous. a cool little place, yeah, man. A hundred-year-old church. It's really cool, man. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we're blessed to have that there. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah, because yeah, you, you are also a, a, I'm granite, a Granite City boy. Yeah, granite, so we got a couple of couple Granite City couple boys. Granite in City the boys in right. I wonder if it smells like steel. Yep. No. You know what Josh I'm is. I'm glad you said steel. <laughs> you know what Josh is up to now, uh, Pigpen? Remember when we had Justin Lebel in? He was talking about getting a, a back line for his open mic. I, I, it's I, a spilly I crew, man. I yeah. that it is this. I know I've been talking about it the past yeah. couple days. That uh, was last night. Yeah. Yep. And every Wednesday. We did miss one Wednesday because he had a show that he needed to honor. You right. know what I mean? So you know, but uh, this uh, yesterday was our third th third Wednesday. Yeah, seven to eleven. And you were nice. looking for a base. So what'd you do? Well, I 
Uh, we have a bass player that couldn't can commit to every Wednesday, but he comes when he can. Mr. Gary Markert from Spilly Nelson. You guys, oh yeah, him. oh yeah, and Aid the Beast, and Aid the Beast. Yeah, first and foremost. <laughs> No, I'm just just letting you know I really know him because I did chase him out of my bus one time. Yeah, I remember that. Because ah! I didn't recognize him. And I chased him down. I was like, hey, what are you doing in my bus? <laughs> he was trying to give the kids some candy. I, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to go into all that, man. <laughs> Poor gear. No, he, I, I, he had a hood on. I didn't realize. Yeah. I was like, man, is that I remember that. stealing gear? Was, he could have put a microphone in his pocket and ran out. I don't know who he is. And as soon as I grabbed him, he's, I turned around. I'm like, oh, I know you. I'm so sorry. I know you. Yeah. So, so you got Gary, but but he couldn't commit he could, to he every Wednesday. He couldn't commit Wednesday, to every so. Wednesday. And one, one of the Wednesdays he couldn't come was yesterday. So I'm standing there going, man, I guess I'm going to go next door to, the to, Jared's, to Jared's Alton Exchange yeah. and uh, 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 see if I can rent a base. So, you know, he only had a couple on the wall. And I took the uh, the salmon-colored one. Right. <laughs> rose. And, uh, rose. Right, the yeah. rose-colored one. <laughs> right. And I said, well, you know, if I can I rent it for the night? And he's like, yeah, sure. So, you know, I gave him some rental money and played it about halfway through the set i was like i think i'm just gonna buy this thing <laughs> so yeah. i bought it got a case with it and everything man uh, yeah you also spend a lot of time uh, on the corner there uh piercing people yep right? your hole's my goal right. body piercing <laughs> uh i've been i've been body piercing for 20 almost 23 years now and i'm i'm a uh, residency at pius hall body art now yeah there you go that's awesome. awesome back in the summer of 82 i got my glocknick pierce but it was the wrong one and Hard to believe how many people tried to urinate on me this summer. Uh, I, I don't know if any of this is true. <laughs> I don't know if any of this is true or if there's even a thing called a Glocknick. But <laughs> Quick side note, when I was doing, when I first started out, I was doing it out of my house, and you're talking, you know, 2002 or something. Um, and uh, we had a list of the piercings that I had done on this on this uh, dry erase board on my refrigerator. And my buddy Chuck Norris from Granite City. Uh, Chuck Norris, I know him. Chuck Norris, yeah. Mm. Uh, he uh, He wrote Achilles tendon on there. And people were like, man, did that hurt? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that's that's not a good one. You know, th- this is this is really the this is my brain is so scrambled. Like I'm talking, having a conversation, but in the back of my brain, I'm trying to picture this salmon colored base. Yeah, and and I keep like flashing back to a guy that that uh, me and Dennis both know. I uh, we both played with him, guy Mike Reedy. Oh, uh, and and he uh, he was in Head East too. I think I think everybody I, was. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I worked with Head East, and I definitely worked with Mike Reedy, but I don't think it was all at the same time. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> He had to borrow a guitar one time, and as a joke, the guy uh, Murphy, who, who was in Head East, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Lo- Mike Murphy loaned him a guitar that was pink with red lipstick like kiss marks and it said kiss kiss and he's like you know you're gonna have to go play and we were playing like this biker rally or whatever. And, uh, so i if i if i remember right mike ended up taking like newspaper and like taping it over a lot of the guitar to try and cover it up i'm like dude what are you afraid the the bikers are gonna think you're just too cute or what i i thought it was great myself but so so you the the salmon one is is it is it uh it don't have no lipstick marks or anything. No. It doesn't well, say kiss on it or anything. They're like not painted that. on there. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few real ones down around the, around the top. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It's perfect. Perfect. It's, turns but, out, girls like pink. God, you know what? <laughs> Who knew? That's why they so many of them got it on their butt when yeah. they walk by. Yeah. It, it, I, I don't know why all the butts have become billboards, and I don't know what they're trying to sell, but pink. It does apparent. say pink. Yes. It does say pink. <laughs> so think pink. All right, yes, so wow, indeed. now yes, I, that, my, my brain is swirling. At the we're we're talking about January 19th. 15th. 15th. I'm like, I'm like see, I'm I'm see, I did that. see, I did that. <laughs> he, he, he totally, he totally <laughs> took me by surprise. I, I had there. to just, yeah. Whew, to all right, there. so there we go. It's too much <laughs> fun. I mean, you know. So, so there you go. We are talking <laughs> 15th, about yeah. January 15th, and, and so this is uh, the first annual may possibly jamming at the springs right when yeah, you we'll, say it, you gotta we'll go jamming at the springs <laughs> jamming at the spring <laughs> this saturday night jamming at the springs brought to you by marshall and gracia there you go yeah, there you go i'm gonna, I'm gonna need go. that played every hour on the hour <laughs> <laughs> if you see only one festival yeah. this january 15th <laughs> one Make man jamming at the springs 10 bands <laughs> Uh, this is fun. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. So anyway, yeah. So j- uh, jamming at the springs again. I, I kind of mentioned it earlier. You were doing happy trails in the winter. Correct. You were the only winter festival we had in this Correct. town, uh, and you sort of got moved outside by 
uh, circumhaps. Yeah, by proxy, <laughs> right? So, so uh, you moved uh, Happy Trails to the summer, moved it outside because yeah. you actually you actually didn't do the twenty twenty. No, because yeah, of we, the winter of twenty twenty, you weren't allowed to do an indoor festival. Well, actually, um, we you did opted? throw one in twenty twenty in January because COVID had not dropped had yet, not hit yet. It was yeah, March so, when it hit. There you yeah. go. That's right. I was. I, I That's do right. remember. Mm-hmm. That. Yep. So then in twenty twenty one, we didn't do one. You in moved the it time. outside, yeah. right? Uh, and now. Uh, 2022 you're, you're you've got the jamming at the springs going on january 15th and that is back at the the big ballroom there in mineral mm-hmm. springs mall yep. yeah yep there at mineral springs and uh, uh brought to you by uh, food, <laughs> food, food and beer brought to you by the old bakery so we've got some locals involved he, he waved me like say something man i'm, I'm drawing a blank <laughs> <laughs> did i hear him <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm not the best front man. That's why I invited my buddy Josh. No, you're, oh, you're doing great. You're doing great, man. You're killing. Seems it. like every. I mind. like to play my bass <laughs> in throw parties. I think all our minds are scrambled. Isn't that good news? My, yeah. I, I, yeah. At least we fit in. My brain has been scrambled since one day in 1985 when I was introduced to marijuana. No. <laughs> I think it was when you uh, wrecked that. Uh, that uh, three-wheeler snowmobile or three-wheeler. Yeah, three-wheeler, yeah. yeah. That was 1983, and you're in right. That was about the time that uh, <laughs> my brain got scrambled. But That's why you get meds now. They, they put all my stuff together, back back together again, stitched me up. I'm fine. Six I'm fine. Dollar man. Uh, the six dollar man. <laughs> 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 Cheapest brain surgery they've ever given right here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> look, my neurologist says I'm much better now. Uh, anyway... Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I was throwing the show in wintertime for yeah. you know Happy Trails, and yeah. I was wanting to move it outside anyways. And uh, COVID came around, and so I, I bumped that show outside. And I had I had a few people actually mention that they were going to miss the wintertime shows. Yes. Uh, so I thought it would be fun to bring it on back, and I wanted to rename it though, so I called it Jamming at the Springs because we do it at Mineral Springs. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. And they always take good care of me there at Zen, so I thought it'd be cool to name it after the building. Absolutely, yeah. and that is a <clears throat> interesting and historic building. Uh, lots of ghosties in that building. <laughs> yeah, it's like one around. of the most haunted places. It is. It's. I don't think it's as haunted as the building we're in now. I. I there's <laughs> there's half a dozen prostitute ghosts walking around in this place. Yeah, you can Just, hear them you know, up there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. We brought in the pros, man. The real ghost hunters from River Bend Paranormal and uh, A&E, A&E's, yeah, A&E's ghost, ghost hunters, hunters right? Brian they, Murray. Yeah, they freaked out. And he on the keeps place. wanting to come back because he's seen stuff, and he's been in a lot of weird places. Heck yeah. So yeah, yeah. I think you're right, Big Ben. Yeah, but I, I would either way. It's a, it's it's a pretty haunted little town around here. So mm. that's a, a pretty haunted building. Uh, Two uh, hotels are probably going back and forth. Right, they're transient. Well, right? that, you know that's that's one thing we could call them. That is one thing we could. That's the nicest thing we could call them. That I could know. No, I, they're they're good people, hardworking women, just trying to make a living in the ghost world. Whatever. Uh, it's, it's hard out there for a ghost. So, you, know what I mean? uh, you know, if you go up there, there's still a ghost manager in the kitchen screaming about cleaning dishes and and you know orders that need to be taken out. You know. It's 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 a working a working joint up there. So anyway, uh, the, but but I digress. Back back to the Mineral <laughs> Springs, which you know there's there's a, a little girl ghost in the basement of that place, Cassandra, mm. uh, who uh, drowned in the pool. So I heard but, that story. Yeah, yeah. I've been but, in the pool. Yeah. The, the, Crazy. The mo- <laughs> really, the, the more interesting one to me out of all of them, though, was the painter who... who uh, Wayne the barber told us about Yeah, it. yeah, mm. he, uh, he, he drank up a real big barbell, and they agreed to let him do a mural painting to pay for it, and he did that. Then he drank up another big barbell and then hung himself. And then, and, I, and I, I don't know why I can identify with that guy. But, <laughs> you know, it's, it seems like, you know, I, same old story. I've heard yeah. that one a lot Is that the life. ghost that follows women home from I there? I believe right? he often has been known to... to or Follow, to the Hotel Stratford, possibly. Well, he, Women yeah, ghosts. Yeah. Right? Uh, usually uh, usually uh, good lookers, he'll, he'll follow home is what I understand. I don't know. He's never followed me. <laughs> you know? I've went in there three times, roofied myself. He didn't touch me. <laughs> 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 I'm beginning to think those roofies don't work. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I guess I have to go to Bill Cosby's house to really find out. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I, <laughs> 
everyone's going to these ugly Christmas sweater parties. I wanted a Cosby sweater party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's get back to talking about this gym in the springs. Or things are just going to get uglier. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so you've you've lined up some some bands, and uh, what do we what do we got here? We got Pisaw Canyon. T- tell me about the Pisaw Canyon band. I'm unfamiliar. Uh, Pisaw Canyon. They're they're a newer band from the area here with a couple of my buddies, and uh, I thought it'd be nice to have them come out and do their thing and you know uh come out and play some music for us and tell me what is a psr the pi the, the psr what is the psr <laughs> if you're, that's how you tell somebody's from alton or not right mm, there right. <laughs> for real the psr so, bird yeah so the uh psr canyon and, and uh what kind of music would we looking for for those guys they do like some they do some originals and some covers so it'll be kind of a variety yeah. rock yeah. and roll act acoustic act rock and roll will be like oh, full yeah. band Full band. Right, right there we go. And next we got uh, Loge. Oh, yeah. I guess that's how we say Loge. that. I'm not, I'm, I'm, that word both intimidates me and arouses me, so I'm not even sure what it is. I had to take Hooked on Phonics, so it could be Logie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ordered the Hooked on Monkey Phonics. Well, the monkey teaches you, but my first monkey came and he wasn't alive. And I said, send it back. I sent it back. Second one, I don't know. Seems like a cycle. <laughs> it, yeah, it was. After after the trash can filled up with dead monkeys, I just quit asking for more. <laughs> anyway. So I personally haven't heard anything from Loge, but I know Sam and Eric from One Way Traffic, right. and those guys are pretty performers you know what i mean yeah, so i have no guys. doubt that these guys are going to shine you yeah. know what i mean yeah and and to be honest like when when you first i first heard the lineup i i heard Pisaw canyon's playing first loge is playing second loge i put a d in there for some reason loge <laughs> is playing said loge uh, loge is playing second and i thought well I, i've never heard of either one of these bands and then uh, the Fleetwood Family Band. Now that I, that there's one I've heard of. Yeah. Tell tell us about the Fleetwood Family Band next, because there the, there's a Fleetwood in there that you used to jam with, or maybe sometimes still do. I'm oh, not he's even still sure. current. Yeah, he's still last current. time I ta- last time I saw you guys, he wasn't playing with you. But then when I saw him, he said, "Oh, I still play with him, just not every time because I'm yeah. busy." Yep. So. Uh, uh, you know that dude's like a Cadillac, though he's a Fleetwood, so he's just rolling around. You never know it. So is, is this is this his side? Is this something he's got going? Yeah, on? that's what I thought. When it's a, I saw it's it. a great it's a great uh, a great band too. Um, him and his cousin they've been singing for years together. Nice. And uh, they've uh, got a few you know a few layers. Uh, got a uh, Brandon Treebark on harmonica. Um, they've got uh, Jake. Am I saying it right? Salmon, maybe Jake Salmon. Salmon, bass. like the color of the bass. Kind of <laughs> like the color of the bass. Yeah. <laughs> S e a m o n. Anyway, uh, he's playing bass. Um, and I forget the drummer's name, but they're great. We'll call man. him Bill. Bill. Bill yeah, the Bill's drummer. Playing drums. Yep. Right. So that I, as soon as I, uh, I'd heard the Fleetwood Family Band before, and I immediately thought, I wonder if that's, you it's know, rich. it's if, rich. If, yep. If that's Rich Fleetwood. Yep, that's right. And then when I saw the two names stacked together, I thought, huh, that this can't be coincidence. No. Coincidence are psychotic phenomena. <laughs> no, we got to have the whole family out. So there you go. So so that is uh, Rich True Fleetwood story. and the family band playing there, and then Spilly. Uh, oh, I, I skipped you one. Skipped your I band. Did, Who I, the uh, Sandwich Brothers? I, what do you know about that band? I, I, I skipped them because I don't want to talk about these guys. <laughs> <laughs> so so you're saying that's a good time to get lunch, right? If, if, if you because everyone should skip them. If you've got it, what are you if, saying? If, if you've got a number two, you've been holding. Then this is the time. <laughs> Didn't you say that to Todd Snyder once? I I. I <laughs> I did. Uh, I was on side During of the beer stage. Run, right? I was on side of the stage, and someone said, "You're going to get a beer." And I said, "I'm waiting for beer run. I'm going to use the restroom and get a beer." And he looked at me like, "Dude, like, I'm right here." Like, oh, oh. Just, just speaking honestly, bro. He was on stage in the middle of songs. Heard me say it. Looked at me like, "What the hell?" Did you tell him about your brain surgery after that? I, the truth is, they look, I had surgery. Truth is, there was no brain surgery. They just scooped my brains back in and sewed it back. Use the label for. The- Hope for the best. Yeah. It's, a, it's a sad but true story. He's like, uh, man, I, I'm going to have PTSD in the future. I plan on that so I can get legal marijuana. So just throw them back in there. Yeah. So it, <laughs> having a massive concussion has only helped me in this day and age. So, uh, so there you go. So that this day, anyway, the Sandwich Brothers band. I those those guys. Uh, they're mainly just going to sit and eat sandwiches on stage. I wouldn't even expect a song out of those guys. <laughs> they're probably going to be spending the whole time hooking up a bunch of equipment that they don't use. <laughs> that, that's their mo. So, so they're more uh, like a, a silent theater. They, uh, chew, yeah. they chew a sandwich yeah. into a mic and then run it through an oscillator. So uh, must see <laughs> or not. Uh, 
<laughs> here is here's the here uh, you ask me what i know about him i'm going to give you the truth i have never been out in front of the stage and watch these guys perform yet. so I, I, I could not assess what it sounds like for the enough. crowd fair <laughs> so. enough well i'll contest think guys are good you're gonna enjoy it that is not when you go to do the number two as a matter of fact you don't want to miss any of these bands no uh i can tell you yeah so purge before the show right yep okay yep I will be I will be wearing an adult diaper. No, that's not true. We'll that's do that too, true. I guess. I, this is this is what I hope I don't do during this show because I actually saw a video of myself. I probably shouldn't admit this over the phone, but I'm sure no one's important is listening. Over the phone? Uh, over the over the yeah. Are we talking on the phone? <laughs> yeah. know, hello, operator. Give me water for three oh nine. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I saw a video where someone who looked a little like me, but it wasn't me was taking a pole and hitting the fire alarm with it in the middle of a spot but that wasn't me i swear i think it's still out there i i, I, I hope yeah, that it video is, is yeah it is it's, it's, it's there. there but i you don't want to watch that one there's so a lot it, of good videos to find it you would google what no i'm just kidding I'll just <laughs> cottonmouth.org it's all there it's all there <laughs> Go to YouTube, cottonmouth.org. There's a lot of great Happy Trails videos. There is. There. That's all I'm going to say. And if you see some weirdo with a stick, that's my twin brother. He's mean. Uh, anyway, and sue him if he, there was any damage to the fire alarm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, Fleet after that. So we got Pisaw Canyon, Loge Sandwich Brothers Band, uh, Fleetwood and the Family, Spilly Nelson. Yeah. Now these guys, I can attest to. I've seen these guys from the. I, I've seen them from this uh, from out front of the stage. I've ran sound for these you guys. Sure have. I've danced to them. I've partied with them. I've done things with them that they might not want me to talk about on the air. <laughs> so hey, that's that's the band. That's the right one. You I, I went to their camp and made fourteen the hard way. <laughs> so I so, uh, know the Spilly family. Spilly uh Spilly Nelson band's gonna be there. So yep. this is uh this is exciting. I actually haven't seen you guys for a minute because uh you know the the uh what was it? What was the last uh what was the last festival you played at out at VFW? Um, well, yeah, it, it, it was uh, it was it was Happy Trails, Happy Trails, and I wasn't there. That was that was a weird one. So they played without you. Yeah. See, things just keep getting weirder. Rich is busy. You're busy. It's like you know what? You guys better prioritize because me and the rest of the band been talking. Yeah. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we come by it honestly. Just kind no, of spill it out on the table, and whatever mm. happens, you know, happens. Um. You no, know, what what I like about the show that, must go on. <laughs> what I like about it is that it's a band that understands life happens yeah. sometimes. But you know what? The show must go on. Do yeah. it anyway. Just do it. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I knew. I I knew. I was thinking. I didn't see. I was getting ready to say. For some reason, I didn't see you out there this summer. Even though I know your band played, and and you explained why. Yeah. Yep. 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 So. I was out of town for that one, and the guys were like, "Well, we can just do it without you." And I was like, "Sweet, that's the greatest <laughs> answer you could ever give." <laughs> <Right? me." laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm so glad they, that worked there you out. go. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a minute since I've actually seen you guys. Right. So well. I'm excited. I'm excited for the show. Well, we might have a new riff for you. Yeah, Ooh, it might be, it might be awesome. a, something new for you, you guys. Something in the something in the in the shoot. We there? actually have about three new songs you guys are going to hear. Nice. We've been kind of pushing the album for the last couple of years, yeah. you know. Um, and uh, we kind of stuck to our our guns on that. Every time we'd play a show, we'd make sure we'd at least address the album and then a couple covers. Right. But we're working on new stuff, and there's some stuff that, that that's uh, simmered long enough that it's time to release it. And this will be the first time we play it. Awesome. Nice. Cool. Now that that's uh, gonna be that's fun. Happy to hear. Going into the whole. Uh, pandemic shutdown all the musicians i talked to said well the great thing is people are going to write new music mm -hmm. and then we all watched lion king or tiger king or whatever it was it was tiger you king know? yeah we're, we're all more about carol baskin than we are you know which if you're writing songs about her great but you know uh carol baskin I'm not sure Robbins, what you're even talking about uh, you know i, I don't know. have tv i, I so. I'm, well, <laughs> no idea it's all right you didn't miss much but good 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 yeah, because you, you do didn't. you mentioned an album that you guys have been pushing and yeah. uh, it's available on all streaming platforms uh spilly it, nelson it's called what philosophy that's right i'm glad you said that yeah buddy yeah thank you uh yeah definitely and we're working on some new stuff now but yeah you can find it on all major platforms there, there was a slight hiccup a couple weeks ago because we changed from one distributor to another but it's back online so yeah, you should get my distributor, man. He's yeah. got good stuff to distribute. I need a uh, for an eight cylinder, right? Okay. Yep. <laughs> like 
I do math, but it's usually like, you know. <laughs> I do math. Right. Grams and quarters and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah. You don't do cups? <laughs> Quarter uh, cup? That, that's cooking math. Kilos, man. maybe. Like, Kilos. Right? 2.2, right? <laughs> 2, man. Right there. Uh, yeah. So square gropers. You're like. I go fishing for them often. You don't need a scale. So, I got my yeah. hand. Right? <laughs> I can tell, man. Uh, so, anyways, uh, all the all those philosophers need to come out, right? Yeah, and uh, yeah, please and, come on out and come out on. And, we, and you know what? We almost missed it. I was going to stop at Spilly Nelson as if it was all over there, but there's one more, and and I, I'm going to say the name yeah. slow, so I get it. If not right, not Just wrong. In case in a bad way. Is Drum roll. Cluster. Cluster. Pluck. 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 Cluster, I said pluck, pluck the chicken. And that's the joke. <laughs> so yeah. I like saying things slow, so when they play it at fast speed on the playback on the video, it's actually different. Yeah, then <laughs> you will be entertained yes. by a local band known <laughs> as Cluster Plug. So there you go. Veteran band. They've been around a long time. Man, how did you slow his voice down like that? I just, I got <laughs> You didn't even press any here. buttons. You yeah. were just like. <laughs> All I can think of is the old, the big monster that would shake, they would huff the ether on Bugs Bunny. And, yeah. Come here, little bunny rabbit. I, it was my favorite cartoon when I was a kid. I could see why. Devil no. Ether. <laughs> Devil Ether. It makes the central spine separate from the nervous system. Oh, the things that were in cartoons back in yeah. the day. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And Hunter Thompson books. So, yeah. <laughs> so there you go, man. That's quite the lineup. Pisaw, uh, Pisaw Canyon, Loge. Hi, uh, Sandwich Brothers Band, Fleetwood and the Family Band, Spilly Nelson, and then Cluster Pluck. What time is that starting off? Uh, doors are going to be at noon, and we're going to have bands basically play our sets all the way till 9.30. There you go. Just real there quick, you, uh, you know, we got a lot of uh, local artists and handmade good vendors that are going to be there as well. Yeah. Uh, you know, we got Rene- Renegade Herbals. Awesome. We've got Ethereal Outworld Art. We got John Griffin going to be there doing some oh, art. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the, the Maverick Marvels, um, Flourish. Kalen, what is that? Kalen Gothier? Gunther, yeah, Gunther, close yeah. enough. Yeah, Willow Bob's going to be there. Lorenzo's Love Tokens. We got Sad <laughs> Sad Cat Tie Dye, Jabberwock Emporium, Ascend from Collinsville, which is the dispensary. Yeah, I was going to say. Nice. How'd you, you got the dispensary's going to be there? Yeah, Ascend's coming out. Body nice. massages Very and nice. more. Nice. Very so nice. there'll be something for everybody. Man, I love more. Yeah. I do They're too. They're awesome. <laughs> yeah, they're good. So there you go, man. Uh, Old Bakery all, Beer will be old, out. I was going to say, Old Bakery uh, Beer? Food They're doing beer food and beer, too. yep. They're yep. doing the food and beer. It all starts at 12.30. What's the price to get in there? 20 bucks. $20 gets you into Cheap. the action, and that is going from uh, noon until 9.30. Noon until 9.30, 9:30 yeah. It'll be, it'll be a there. come and go pass, so you can cut. You can <laughs> I'm not 100% <laughs> sure, but I think a little bird and a little wind might have blew in an idea right. about an after party. There's an so, after yes. party, yeah. There is an after go. party at the I've seen that bird blowing people. So I mean, blowing go. in. And from what I gather, it's a all-star jam. <laughs> ah, so mm. so, and, and you, you, can, you can walk from one to the other, so I mean, you could just, it's like getting stoned with two birds. Yeah, to get two birds yeah, stoned at once. Yeah, two stirred bones at once. Getting two stirred bones at once. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Is this a dream? Like I'm sure I'm going to wake Scramble, up. Scramble, you mentioned. Ah, Scramble. Yeah. I remember those uh, PSAs. Yeah, so there you go. All right, so there you go. Real quick, we should run down these uh, Friday, Saturday Well, I was going to ask Billy Nelson uh, if they're playing on New Year's Eve. No, we are not. No? How about uh, Stone Sugar? We are not playing on New Year's Eve. You guys they're, are they're taking on a hi- They are taking yeah. a hiatus. Yep, yep, taking you guys are going to be ready by the 15th. Yeah. Yes. Yep. You're going to so, be, like, running yep. behind when oh, yeah. you get there so bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The Sandwich Brothers Band will not be ready. We will be ready to laugh and make some weird noise. Oh, that's your band? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just admitted it. Yeah. Oh, he no. said, he oh, said we. No, he yeah. said we. No, I meant, no, you're right. You're right. Yep. I, I'm well, sorry. Now you know. Uh, will uh, the Sandwich uh, Brothers uh, Band members be coming out to the after party? 
the Sandwich Brothers band is going to be, since we don't have to run sound, we're going to be rock stars that day. Hell yeah. We're going to be partying it up like, usually we have to stay sober enough to run sound for all the other bands. Well, it wouldn't be an all-star jam without some of you there. I, 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 sure. I am, I'm planning on having a, a, a really exciting day and evening and... Uh, my eyes will be spinning like pinwheels. That's all, all right. I'm going to tell you. Right on. Did it's we gonna mention be that after party was at the conservatory? It is, it just it's at the conservatory. It yeah, right down the I wasn't road. Sure, from if we Mineral brought Springs. that up yet. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring yeah. some maracas down. You're going to have to go to uh, a donut shop and get a large dark coffee, nice. and inside will be instructions to a rendezvous point where nice. you'll get directions from a guy who will <laughs> tell you where you can go pick up a uh, mm-hmm. ticket to get into the conservatory. The but you're not gets, supposed to know any of that. The uh-huh. ticket gets you a carton of eggs at the produce right. place. That's yep. only for our subscribers. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or you can just go straight to the conservatory. Yeah. <laughs> you can skip all that mumbo jumbo. <laughs> right. Or just follow everyone. Yeah. Wherever yeah, they go. go. So yep. it's, either way, it's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and, and uh, man, I appreciate you putting on a, a winter festivity because I'm telling you that, that January, February is like this dead period mm-hmm. where, you know, it's hard to... It's hard to get out of the house sometimes because there's just not a lot fever, going man. on. And yeah, you yeah, know, it's for like, sure. Ah. Well, I appreciate y'all coming out and supporting oh, it. It's going to be a good you time. You know, I hope people come out and enjoy the music and the vendors and yeah. kind of shake off the winter blues. Going to yep. be a good time. Going to be a good time. So there you go. You Let's, know what I think of when I think of New Year's Eve? I think of Mr. Matt Van Boris because yeah. last year on New Year's Eve, he came to visit me, unfortunately. Your with house fire trucks, on fire. yeah. yeah. Your house was on fire, <laughs> but he was there. He was there when he I was. needed him on and, New uh, Year's Eve. The next day, he was, he was supposed to be meeting me for a party. He, he was. Uh, he no. He just called us. It was the next day when he showed up and uh, shoveled a lot of uh, blown in insulation out of my house with me. Yeah. So that's uh, what a nice yeah. insurance agent. Yeah. That is, that's not his job, that's, but uh, you know, nice guy. I have connections with him. He is our sponsor of the show, and I don't know if he's going to do that for everybody, but if you ask him nicely, he probably would. Well, I just appreciate you getting him out of the house. I went and hung out with his wife the whole time, but don't tell him that. He don't know. Well, he was, never mind, I better not say what he was saying. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Stubblefield not playing on uh, New Year's Eve. No, Stubblefield's not playing on New Year's Eve, but if you have Matt come to your house to give you an insurance quote, ask him to bring his guitar and play some of them songs they play. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. Also, uh, Halpin Music Company has been with Absolutely. us now, going on number seven, right? Number seven. Starting seven year years, seven. Yeah. Next week when we come on, it'll be their seventh year with us. So there you go. And thanks to them, we're able to announce all these shows we're going to mention coming up Friday night, which is a special night, according to uh, the calendar. And uh, let's start in Alton, right, with the pianos at uh, Raging Cajun at 9 o'clock. The Step Brothers going to be at Fast Eddie's at 7.30 until 11.30. The Trag Band at the VFW in Alton. Michael Johnson Band at uh, Shea Maryland's at 8 o'clock. Throw the Horns. 9 o'clock at 3rd Shoot in Alton. We know it'll be going down there. The Owls. A meeting of the Owls. 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. at Bluff City Grill in Alton. Jason McAtee Band going to be at Baker's and Hale on uh, New Year's Eve at 7 o'clock. Leadfoot, 9 o'clock at the Beer Barrel in Godfrey. And uh, let's see, Clifton Terrace, that's the Hurl, Hurl- Hurlicanes. It's the Hurlicanes. All right. Hurl. Hurlicanes. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. That's uh, going on at 8 Clifton o'clock. Terrace, 8 p.m. Then we got Whiskey River Band at the Tri City Rod and Gun Club in Brighton. So get your guns and head out there and drink mm. some whiskey. Uh, Keystone River Rats at Main Street Bar and Grill in Brighton. There's a new one. I don't know that one, but good yeah. for them for having some uh, some live music. Then we got the Screaming Eagles Jam Band, Locks Brick House in Bethalto. Cherry Bomb. That's 9 right. 9 p.m. at the Shortstop in East Alton. Cricket and the Grilled Avocados will be at Martin's Tunes and Eats. Um, on Friday night at 8 p.m., flip the frog. All you frog flippers head to the Moose in Wood River. That's 8 p.m. on New Year's Eve. I got their shirt on tonight. You do. I got their hat on, yep. maybe. I don't nice. know. Yep, maybe you do. not. Uh, <laughs> wow. I can't see We myself. coordinated. Yeah, well, we, we got the memos. Uh, <laughs> versatile, 9 p.m. at the Refinery Bar in Wood River and Chicken Switch. 
4 p.m. and the Retro Nerds 9 p.m. That's going on at the Pump House on New That's Year's Eve. That's an 80s band, the Retro Nerds. The retro right? Nerds. Remember I the like Nerds? It. Yeah. All right. uh, Cabin Fever at Reds in Bunker Hill, and then the Roaring Twenties got a New Year's Eve party going on with Money Shot 7 p.m. at Wigglers and Holiday Shores. Right. Jared Lutz 9 o'clock to 12 a.m. at the Corner Tavern in Edwardsville. Andrew Dahl 6 to 9 and. DJ Sweats, 10 p.m. at Big Daddy's in Edwardsville on New Year's Eve. Poor Dirty Astronauts, 8 o'clock at Reese's Brewery in Edwardsville. And you know, Champagne Picks plays every New Year's Eve. Yeah. They have to. Well, it's right? a, yeah, that's so you can get your Champagne Fix. This year, they're playing a Masquerade Ball, which is nice. totally New Year's Eve, right? I like it. 6.30 at Bella Vista Winery in Maryville. RHB Acoustics, 7 o'clock Think in the cabin. Think a big ball? Yeah, I'm going to say it's, you know. The big as ACDC. So you could probably like, have a ball. I like right. big balls. Right. RHB Acoustics, 7 o'clock at the cabin at Judy Creek in Glen Carbon. Down and Dirty, 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City. The South Side Bluesy Boys, 9 o'clock at Patty McDee's in Granite City. Uh, let's see, flip side, 8 o'clock to 12 a.m. at the Legion in Kane. At <laughs> the Legion, nice. Right. I was down drinking down at the Legion. Legion. Yeah. <laughs> you went home with her, too. Back Skull with Kane. <laughs> Mustard and bologna. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Backwood Bird and Duo, 8 o'clock. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did we just lose power or something? Wow. That was weird. I think I had a stroke. Uh, that, that was me. I uh, wow. held my cough button down. And oh. it turned your mic wow. on. Wow. Sorry there, about that. There's a ghost in the machine. Oh, yeah, there's a this. ghost in a Stratford. Anyway, Whew. freaking us out. There you go. Backwood Burden Duo is what he was saying. Is 8 p.m. at the Hog yeah. Pit on Friday night. Then Roaming Home, 8 p.m. at Aries Winery in Grafton. And then finally on New Year's Eve, we have Miles Station, 6 to 10 p.m. at Wild Pickens in Chesterfield. That's a lot going on uh-huh. on the in the Riverbend area. A little bit more than a normal Friday night, but the yep. Saturdays slowed down a bit. Everybody uh, <laughs> hung over on be Saturday. Sleeping, Everybody's right. going to be hung over. Except for Hookie. They will be at Shea, Maryland's at 8 o'clock on New Year's Day. Rock Bottom, 9 o'clock at 3rd Shoot in Alton. Uh, let's see. Cross the Line, 7.30 to 11.30 at Fast Eddie's in Alton. The piano's again at Raging Cajun. And uh, then it goes blank, all right, until we get to PB and J and Denver Wade Trent, 2 o'clock at the Hog Pit. And Gra- That'd be a tough one, 2 o'clock. But they're ready. Yeah. How about the Silver Bullet STL, 8 o'clock? Oh, there you go. That's at the Wild E, yeah. Yeah. Good, Wild good E Theater him, in Edwardsville, and that is sold out from what I remember. Man, them Tenon boys get around, don't they? They do. There's, There's a bunch like of them 25 of them. And they're in like 80 different bands. <laughs> and some of them aren't even related. I don't know how that happens. Lanny and Julie, 2 o'clock at the Foundry Public House in Edwardsville. You do the next one. Uh, Dave Horton, 2 p.m. at the Foundry Boathouse at Holiday Shores in Edwardsville. Yeah, see, I didn't yeah. want to confuse the two, so ah, separated the, it with the voices. The Foundry Public House in Edwardsville right. and the Foundry Boathouse at Holiday Shores in Edwardsville. Mm, yeah, so very confusing. There you go. Down and Dirty, back at it, 9.30 at Patrick's in Granite City on New Year's Day. Flip side, 7 o'clock at Hooch and Sixteens in Granite City, New Year's Day. Ashley and Ethan with special guest Johnny Holsum. Oh, nice. <laughs> from the well hungarians right oh, nice. three yeah. to seven at the prairie inn and dorsey on new year's day little known fact one to four at uh, Port- yeah it's a little known fact that uh this Al- ashley and ethan is also a uh a, a furniture brand no i don't know i'm sorry I, <laughs> it's a horrible cliff flavor i'm sorry <laughs> was that in your notes <laughs> no. No, she's- yes yes i have an entire book written here lots of things for me to say just for that you you must finish what i started all the way to the bottom of the page all right where are we going all the way up uh, Testicle No, wait, festival. wait, you skipped, you skipped Little Known Fact. You oh, cut them off. It's a Little Known Fact that Little Known Fact will be uh, performing from 1 to 4 p.m. at 1428 Tap House in Swansea. Yeah, now you can move and on to what you want to talk about. we have the Testicle Festival. This is something That's not that, a misprint. This is something that sounds very <laughs> interesting. Right. Uh, it's got mine itching. Our uh, buddy Jeremiah the- Fury is involved. All right, so the Testicle Festival with DJ. Uh, DJ's going on from uh, uh, 12 to 4 p.m. Cherry Bomb. There's Jeremiah right there. Uh, 4 to 8 p.m. A heated tent uh, with shuttle service. Uh, it starts at noon uh, at Bernie's Pizza Pub in downtown Belleville and will run until 8 p.m. Pick up and drop off every half an hour between Bernie's, Crehan's, 
and AJ's. So it's it's a uh, it's a multi bar festival. Three bars involved. It a looks testicle. like here, and it is a testicle festival. festival so you'll have to have them know. explain that. Uh, I don't a, think the different. FCC allows us to go any further. It it is uh, yeah it probably sounds fertility like it sounds I'm, I'm like guessing. a good time. Yes, yes, they have the big fertility festival in Japan. You talk I, about some ice sculptures. I have seen some of those ice yeah. sculptures, and uh, I have drank uh, some of the ice know, sculptures. Yes, they, uh, they white made? Russians <laughs> from them. <laughs> okay, are they made of sake? Uh, oh, sake! Possible. Yeah. Now, so what else we got? We got the Super Jam right. uh, at Silver Creek Saloon in Belleville on Sunday, and then Shotgun Creek two thirty at Bottoms Up. In Jamestown. That's on is, Saturday. You yeah, said that's Sunday. That's on a Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, everyone's going to be too hungover on both those days to mm. remember much, right? Not uh, much going on Sunday, but we do have the open mic with the Shell Shack down at Martin's Tunes nice. and Eats. That is a blast. I've done that one. And, you know, what's even funner, open mic night, is uh, Butch Moore, 6 to 10, the staggering again in Edwardsville. That's been going on like 35 30 years. years. Yeah. Yeah. He was five. Yeah. He was out last night at the open mic. There he came go. through it uh, awesome. at the conservatory, and he oh, 35 man. years yeah. he's been doing that. Oh, Butch yeah. Moore, side in town even that's cool like yeah track band two to six to grafton winery on sunday dave horton two to six at who that who that in collegeville <laughs> and uh that's all i got so, so what, what i was hoping you might have this week and, I might. and, and you didn't bust it out but maybe you'll tell me i was, hope, I was hoping maybe you went to the uh uh gay meat bingo no no i wanted to know as what soon happened. as christmas ended i just slept for three days man Man, and it's been over two and a half years since I had three days in a row off, so that's why. There you go. Well, yeah, I, I, I was, was interested to hear what most happened, enjoyable. but I, I, I didn't make it, so I... Well, that's like the second time. They just changed the name this time. The what? first time, I seen I seen a picture of like some giveaways and stuff, but... I, I love the fact they changed the name. It's a great name. Mm-hmm. Gay Meat Bingo. You don't forget that when you hear it. Yeah. You're not like, hey, what was that thing that was going on this Saturday? Yeah. Uh, yes, it's, it All sounds right. it sounds arousing and, and frightening at the same time. Uh, <laughs> so don't we have the birds of squalor heading in the, here? At they've 7 been o'clock? texting me that they're outside uh-huh. squalling around, probably freezing, and and, and <laughs> we're gonna go see what's going you on. You want me to go let so. them in, and you can wrap it no, up with these no, guys? No, we're 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 done here, I'm man. I, I don't know. Those those guys are fine, and these guys got <laughs> just nothing leave to them say. outside. They're <laughs> fine. Look, they're they're out there pregame. They can hear who's doing that. It's not me, Josh. It's not me. Okay. So Not let, let, let's just very quickly remind <laughs> these guys one more time that Jammin' at the Springs is going on January 15th. Marshall and Gracia here, the promoter. Thanks for being here with us, Marshall. Yeah, thanks for having us out. Uh, and then we've got the bands Pisaw Canyon, Loge, Sandwich Brothers Band, Fleetwood and the Family, Spilly Nelson, and Cluster Pluck. we got Josh from Spilly Nelson sitting in. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, you know what? Thanks for having me. Guys. Absolutely. Yeah, and, you, uh, and we can't wait for the, uh, for the show. Everybody get out there on January 15th. $20 to get in. Going to be $20. Six bands. That's, That's not even twenty dollars for the seat. All you need is the edge. Six bands, several go. vendors. No Six cover bands, at the conservatory, vendors. right? Is there a cover after? No, the, the, after, party's the after party's free. So That's all part There you go. Yeah, yeah that's gonna free, it's gonna so. run from about ten thirty to one, and we're just gonna be jamming. So. There you go. Awesome. So everybody, get out. Have yourself a safe New Year's Eve. Get out. There's so much to do. Mm. No excuse not to do it. And if you're confused on all the stuff we were saying, go to cottonmouth.org. Pull it up on your phone, and it'll, all the stuff will be listed right at the top, so you can. Uh, travel around your New Year's Eve safely. Mm-hmm. Uh, whatever it is you're going to do, spend some time with family and friends. Be safe and please get out and support local music and art.